Hello YouTube. This is going to be an update for weeks 30 and 31. I didn't do an update for weeks 30 because I knew by the end of the week I had an appointment on Thursday and Friday. So I was going to wait to do that and give you guys an update on all of that. So, get right into it. I can go straight to the symptoms first. Um, symptoms hadn't hadn't changed. Symptoms are still the same. The still the pains, the aches, the, the just the normal aches and pains on your sides. You know your back. Um, so to talk about my appointments, I went to the doc, my maternal fetal medicine doctor on Thursday, and um, you remember the previous um, update I told you guys about how my cervix had shortened to a 2.7. Well, this appointment, it actually got longer to a 3.3. And so then she applied pressure on me to make sure that if the baby put pressure on my cervix, would it shorten or what? Excuse me. It actually got longer to a 3.6. So that was very, very good. And also I told you guys about how she said that my fluid was a little low. Wasn't too much to worry about, just a little low. So she um gave me um well I'm sorry. So she looked this time on the ultrasound and it was perfect. So it was perfect. The baby was weighing three pounds six ounces and everything was looking great. So she told me since everything looks so good that they may release me and I won't have to be back to the maternal feeder doctor anymore. So they were going to do me a glucose, I mean, I'm sorry, a um, preeclampsia testing to see if it was a protein was in my urine. And as long as that came back okay, that I would be released. So I did that, and it came and told me it was fine. Everything was perfect. I'm going well. I'm far along enough now to where they feel comfortable releasing me, letting me go. They don't have to see me every two weeks. So that was the end of that one, which was great news for me. So, on Friday, I had an appointment with my OBGYN, and I had to do my glucose screening, and I also, I get my P17 shots, of course, and they just did a regular prenatal checkup, measured my um, belly, and they took my blood pressure, all that was measuring fine, doing good. And so, um, the I also got a shot for the whooping cough, I got an injection for that. And so when um everything went well, the appointment was great. He said he wasn't concerned about anything. Just wanted to make sure that my blood pressure stayed down. Other than that, everything was perfect, and they were excited about it. Same as I. So later on that day, I get a phone call, and it was my doctor's office telling me that I have to do my glucose again, the three-hour testing, because my levels were a little bit elevated. So... They want to redo that. I was like, oh, God. Like, <laughs> like I get all this perfect news, and then I end up with this news. She said it could be false results because they get those a lot, but just to make sure they wanted to do the three hours. So I have to go do that Friday, and I will find out that Friday. So she said they're not really just a concerned a whole lot because it wasn't that high, and I'm already 31 weeks. They're going to take him at 39, so I don't have that many weeks to go. So it shouldn't be, you know, nothing too bad or whatever to worry about. So that's it. So what I'm going to do is show you guys my belly and call it a day. Thanks. Here is 31 weeks in two days. Thanks for watching. See you guys on my next update. Hi guys. I forgot to show you the ultrasound pictures that we got from the last visit. So I'm going to try to show you those without a glare. Um, let's see. Here's one. 
where you have his his nose and his hand is up by his eye and his other eye he was resting on my bladder so half his face was like and when we first first did him he had both his hands up by his eyes so she pushed and pushed on my stomach and that's when he put his hands up like that like I guess he was saying, like, stop pushing me. So he put his hands up like that. And that's how we got the side shots. But here's the other one that I thought was a good view of him. See his nose, his lips, and his hand up by his eye. And that little cushiony, like, little white spot over on the side. That's my bladder he's laying his head on. He's using it like a pillow. But he has, to me, the features of his father... So, we're just going to see how everything goes and just can't wait to meet him. So, again, thanks for watching. See you guys later.